All right, so we're going to take a look at a situation where there is a sphere, the top half positively charged and the bottom half negatively charged, with an angular velocity seen as omega up um, in the z direction. And so we are going to find the magnetic uh, moment as well as the electric dipole moment. And then we're going to see how um, the sphere attracts or repels itself. Each half of the sphere um, reacts to those dipole moments. So first of all, if we take a look at the magnetic moment, we can see that the, um, if we take a look at the top half, the positive half of the sphere is rotating with an angular velocity in the phi hat direction. And so if we do our right hand rule using our thumb as the direction of current, we can see that um, our fingers tend to curl up in the positive z direction. And so no matter how we go around, if our thumb follows the direction of the positive charge, our fingers curl around in the positive z direction, meaning that our magnetic moment is going to be upwards in the positive z direction. So that's we're going to do the positive uh, side is going to have a magnetic moment up in the z direction. For the negative side, we're going to do the same process, except instead of using our right hand rule, we're going to use our left hand, and therefore we're going to use our left thumb as we go around. As, and so if we go around in this direction, we're going to see that our fingers kind of curl around in the negative z direction, no matter how we go around the circle. I mean the sphere. Um, if we tend to add, if we add those up, then we kind of see that our net magnetic moment, and our net fingers, curl around uh, down towards the negative z direction, and so our magnetic moment on the bottom half of the sphere is going to be in the negative z direction. Now, for our electric dipole moment. So we already defined that our magnetic moments for each, for the top and bottom half of the sphere are in opposite directions, and so therefore the top and bottom half of the sphere repel in terms of magnetic uh, forces. Now, if we take a look at the electric forces, we know that electric dipole moments point from negative to positive charges. And so if we take a look around the middle of the sphere here, we can see that um, the dipole moments start here in the negative side and kind of point positive, point upwards like this. So that's how they look around the sphere. Now if we were to separate that into the bottom and top half of the sphere, we know the top half of the sphere has this part. And so the top half of the sphere is going to have an electric dipole moment in the plus z direction like that. And we, we know that the bottom half of the sphere is also pointing upwards, pointing towards the positive side. And so on the, on the bottom half of the sphere, it's also going in the positive z direction. Now, taking a look that um, both of these electric dipoles are both in the same direction as opposed to the magnetic dipoles that were in the opposite direction, and knowing that the magnetic dipoles being in the opposite direction repel each other, we know that the electric dipoles being in the same direction attract. And this makes sense because negative charges attract to positive charges. And so through electric dipole moments, we've shown this that they both have the same direction and dipole moments and therefore they attract.